Strange. Right now, I would love to go to church. You know, I didn't find out much about my father, but at least I know that he was there and was a good man. That is good, Mr. Lazarus. Listen, your sister is now at the funeral home. They're going to prepare her body. We can hold the funeral this Friday, if that's okay with you. I don't like these disgusting creatures in my house. I have to improvise something. I don't care if they are offensive or not, I'll burn them down. Hopefully this is going to work and I don't blow myself up. Doesn't look like my best idea. Lazarus? Mr. Lazarus, come quickly! The infestation that blocked the door earlier is now gone. And I heard someone inside, Mr. Lazarus. Someone is still alive. Again? A locked door? Ugh, just break it! Hello, young man. Oh, uh, hi. What are you doing here? I'm just hiding, waiting for this to end. Are you friends with my father? Yes, indeed. Oh, cool. I was waiting for my parents to come rescue me. These foul creatures blocked the doorway and I couldn't escape. Your parents are dead. What? No. How could that happen? I can't believe it. Do you have any relatives to go to? No, it was just me, mom and dad. I've been here for almost a week. I'm waiting for my girlfriend to call me. We were planning to leave together. Listen, stay here while I try to figure out what the hell happened, all right? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We've received reports of countless deaths from all around the city. As you know, many TV stations have tried to deny the first rumors about a possible infestation. What's even more frightening... I'm overwhelmed by rage. It's like a black veil covering my eyes, and all I want is their blood. When I confronted my father about the tape, he just laughed at me. Told me my girlfriend was a nice piece of ass. That he did what I was too soft to do myself. That's what a man does. Mom didn't even flinch. She was proud of her wretched husband. She told me that you have to be ruthless if you want to get ahead in this life. I'll show them. I'll show them that I can be even more ruthless than them. I'm going to take the hydrochloric acid from the bathroom and throw it in their faces as their eyes will burn and they will scream in pain. I'll crush their skulls with a wrench and then I will spit on their lifeless bodies. That was a really messed up recording, young man. It's just a recording. I like to write horror stories and record them, just for fun. Is that so? I swear, it's fiction. It's fiction, huh? Is that why your parents are dead in the living room just as you described in your take? 
Mr. Lazarus, I think you should see this right now. It's a bunch of disgusting CDs. What the hell is this? Is this the sort of girl you were all along? Just a whore. The kind my father usually makes his movies with. What? What do you mean? How can you say such words? I found the tape. I saw you with my father. Of all the men you could have slept with, why my disgusting father? Wait, you don't understand. It's not like that. I saw you! I know! I'm sorry, but I only did that for the papers. I know you don't believe me, but I've told you so many times I needed those damn papers. I have to leave, and you kept dragging me on and on. What choice did I have? What choice? You're so stupid, they would have never given you the papers. All my father wanted was to film you, and trick you so that you would have ended up in Serbia as a prostitute. How could you even think to trust him? I'm sorry, Shivko, please. No, this doesn't end like this. You'll pay, all of you. No, don't talk like that. To hell with you, filthy whore. You just wait, I'll show you. You have to be kidding. He did it! He killed Ludmilla! Mr. Lazarus, hold your horses. That recording is suspicious, but it doesn't confirm anything. Oh, it confirms. It confirms he's a murderer. Have you seen how he stood there and shamelessly lied to us? He said that it was fiction, yet his parents' bodies are just there. I'm going to kill him. Maybe, but try to understand. Perhaps there is more to this story than it seems. There are things that don't add up here. Don't be in a rush to sentence him. I don't give a damn. Ludmilla had her whole life ahead of her. Every dream she had, every hope in life vanished. I worked so hard. I did unspeakable things. I didn't even come to my mother's funeral. All to make money and help my sister leave this hellhole. Only for her to have her skull crushed by that freak. I'll kill that demented maniac. Do not become a monster yourself, Lazarus. You'd better not stand in my way. I'm going to have an intimate discussion with that... Poor excuse of a man. You sick fuck! If you murdered my Ludmilla, I'll crush your skull just like you did to her! You're lucky. I could have killed you. But I'm not a murderer, although I came really close this time. Ludmila, please don't hang up. What do you want? You want to belittle me even more? No, I'm sorry for how I acted. I was enraged by jealousy, the image of you and my father. Look, I told you I'm sorry. I can't undo it. Maybe you were right and I was foolish and gullible, but I can't do anything about it now. In fact, I have no idea what to do at all. I can help you. Listen, I managed to steal the papers from my parents. Don't ask me how. Really? You mean that? Yes, my love. We could leave tonight if you want. I, I want to come with you wherever you go. I don't want to spend another minute in this place. But what about your parents? Won't they try to find us? To hell with them. Don't worry about them anymore. But Shivko, can you really forgive me for what I've done? Do you think we can ever find peace together? We all make stupid mistakes. And we can all do unspeakable things under the wrong circumstances. Wait, there's someone at the door. Meet me in three hours at the church and bring the papers. I'm going to light a candle at my mother's grave one last time. I'll meet you after I come back from the cemetery. You have to be kidding. If he didn't kill Ludmilla, then who the hell did? Hello? 
Lazarus? Laura? Why did you leave? I didn't want to witness what you were about to do. I'm sorry I scared you, but the freak is fine. I'm not a murderer after all. You were right. He didn't kill Ludmilla. Someone else did. I found a recording in which the boy talked with my sister about them leaving this place together. While he did kill his parents, he really seemed to love her. They planned to meet after Ludmilla would have returned from the cemetery. That was one week ago. But then someone knocked at the door. The murderer? Yes. This is all becoming too much, Lazarus. Maybe we should just stop and leave this place ourselves after Ludmilla's funeral. I can't do that. I have to find out what happened to her. I have a bad feeling about all of this. It's like a suffocating darkness surrounds us with every passing hour. But if you choose to stay, I'll be by your side until the end of it. I would like to talk to you in person, though, before the funeral. Could we meet somewhere? I have something to confess to you. Listen, if you have something to tell me, you know where to find me. Lazarus, please! Lazarus? Oh my god! No, please! Wake up! Help! Help! Father, I saw her! Am I going crazy? It's not her. It is the evil spirit that dwells in this house. It can take many forms, especially now that her death was so brutal. Don't let fear and guilt overtake you, my son. Let the love for your sister shield your heart. Anxiety and sadness overwhelmed me. Just a week before Mom died, I fell unconscious in the middle of the street. I woke up later hospitalized in a psychiatric ward. I'm alone. Mom? She's dead. After Rosanna, you served as a teacher at a real... Near the old orphanage, there's a very beautiful church that... Father Abraham told me that you served your apprenticeship. The monastery where you became a monk. I'll ask the monks about you. Before we meet, I want to know everything. Mom wanted to be buried Her journey in this ended monastery, before it even thinking began. that this way she'll be closer to you. You didn't make it. That night, you were murdered. <laughs>